Hey guys, welcome back to my channel, and in today's video, I'm going to be doing a very, very big stationery haul. I think this is the biggest one yet on my channel. Huge thank you to Stationery Pal for sending me the stationery that I need, and let's get on with the video. So, upon opening the first box, I found that the stationery was so well packaged. They had a really cute heart-shaped bubble wrap tucked under and on top of the stationery. And if you opened it, you were met with a lot of very fun confetti. So this is not a stationary item, but rather something that I can hold my stationary in. This is the corduroy tote bag in the faded pink color and this beige orange-ish color. So upon opening this, I just fell in love with the texture of the corduroy. It is sealed with a button and there's kind of like a white fabric inside. But overall, I really love it and I think the colors are very unique and very aesthetically pleasing. All right, so moving on to the next piece of stationery. These stamps are actually what I've been wanting for a super long time. I've seen everybody in the Studygram community use it and a lot of bullet journal artists. I've always wanted it and finally I found a shop that actually sells it. So I got these letter stamps in the capital set and the lowercase set. I'm very excited to use this with my six ring binder. I haven't really been journaling lately but now that I have these stamp sets that I've been wanting for a very long time maybe it will finally help motivate me so next up, hey, we, yo, have next this. up we have the green case it's elite it's cute it's awesome it's just awesome So anyways, that was my sister, but moving on to the contents inside of the pencil case. Here I have a bunch of sticky notes and stickers that they put in here. So we have these graph post-it notes and these cherry blossom post-it note designs. For the rest, they're just sticker flakes by various Japanese artists. Alright, so opening the second green Amazing Elite pencil case, we have these to-do lists. So they come in different forms. The first form is kind of like a time blocking list where I can actually write down what I want to do at a certain time. And the second one is just a simple running to-do list. Then we have even more post-it notes. So I have this dot grid post-it note and a graph post-it note, except it's at a much bigger scale. And the last item in this pencil case would be these Fabry Color Brush Pen Set. So next up out of the bunch, we have this Crayola Super Tip Washable Marker 20 Pack. I've actually never owned Crayola Super Tips and I've always wanted them, so it's very convenient that they had it there. And I also have these four sets of masking tape. It's just these really cute designs in the form of masking tape, so I plan on cutting out some of the designs to put wherever I choose in my journal. Then Stationery Pal was kind enough to include a few extras. So we have this really cute emoji pin and these erasers that you can actually like take apart i remember having these in elementary school and these were like the new thing and they were very trendy back then so it's really exciting to actually have them in my hands a few years later they are so adorable i remember back then not wanting to use them just to preserve their state because if you erase with them it obviously just wear off but moving on to the next box we have finally finished the first one and i'm very excited to see what's in the next one so here is the second one. I'm just going to include a little montage of the packaging because it is just so beautiful and well packaged and secure. I'm very surprised and very appreciative of the way that they packaged it.
not here anymore. All right, so first up are these three boxes. I purchased these washi tape holders. As you guys already know, I have so much washi tape and I keep them in my Apple box cases, but um, it'd be nice to keep them in somewhere that's very aesthetically pleasing. So here I ordered three of them. The design is actually pretty cool. You just put in about four or five washi tapes. I think that's how many it fits. And it has a blade at the end where you can just cut it off like regular scotch tape. Of course I had to get washi tape, so I got these really nice blended colors and I got this craft paper for whenever I journal because I often find myself always just using random packaging so it'd be nice to actually have craft washi tape on me. Then I got even more sticker flakes. Basically it's just all dog themed and floral themed. Then I got a lot of these blue adhesive glue tapes, um, pretty self-explanatory. So we are not surprised, obviously I have even more sticker flakes. Here's a floral pack that I forgot to show you guys in the last set and the rest are just Japanese characters from different artists. All right, so the next item is this really cool pencil case. It's very, very small, but it's this band case that you actually wrap around a notebook. So it's kind of like a pencil case to go. And it's very small though. I think it could fit only about like one or even two pencils or pens. Speaking of notebooks here, I got three small dot grid spiral bound journals. Then I got this gray Tombow monograph 0.5 millimeter mechanical pencil. Then here's another one of the Norino glue tape that I said I got a lot of. And by the way, this is a six millimeter by eight millimeter size. So being the huge Mildliner enthusiast that I am, I had to purchase one of these limited edition or differently designed Mildliner colors. Basically they're a space or a planet themed each color associates with a different planet, and as you can see, blue associates with Saturn. And there are other colors, but I don't know why this just appealed to me. And I also got this Zig Fude Biori. I don't know if I said that right, but I got this brush pen in black. And for the moment, you guys have all been waiting for the sticker sheets. There is just a whole bunch. The reason why I got so many was because... Each sheet was as low as 30 cents, so I just went all out. And there are just so many sticker sheets here. I will be giving a full look and full tour of each single sheet later on towards the end of the video, so stay tuned for that. But here's just a little overview. You have the very famous Swatlier stickers. They have these sticker sheets with really cute Japanese characters, and they even have these Stationery Pal branded sticker sheets. So I have a huge variety of stickers right here that I am very excited to show you guys towards the end. Next up we have another set of stamps except these are monthly calendar and number stamps. And then we have even more spiral bound books. So we have the notebooks with a craft color and then we have this Kukuyo Campus Loose Leaf in the size A5 grid, and we have this notebook with a transparent cover. Nearing towards the end of this video, here we have the final tour of our sticker sheets. There are some replicas in here, but all in all, it is a nice mix, and I'll let you guys enjoy it for the rest of the video.